Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do Aquarius for the rest of the August. Let's see what's going to happen. What are the messages for you? This is a general reading as usual. I say <clears throat> take it as a motivational thing and don't take it too seriously because it's general. It's used to give you motivation in one way or the other. Okay, and for more uh, accurate answers and clear cut answers and even more amazing experience you can get a personal booking done with me on whatsapp or instagram all right so sun moon rising venus follow the sun first and the rest according to me and uh, yeah keep it simple right so yeah i'm also going to upload some uh, september horoscopes on instagram so you can join me there as well Aquarius, please. What's happening? Aquarius. Whoops. Six of Pentacles. Someone wants to bring in that communication towards you. Someone is dying to communicate with you. Like they're feeling a care, a sense of care and nobility towards you. Nobility. Yeah, like that. So I feel that someone wants to really being the. Uh, someone wants to be very helpful and, uh, you know someone really wants to guide you or maybe help you financially so this person could be a Virgo or a Capricorn some of you this person could be a lawyer as well so we were doing Aquarius right so someone was going to give you some money okay and if it's not about money um, it could be just simply that this person wants to you know really help you in lot of things in life okay so yes love is there okay so someone has offered you or will offer you love soon uh, Virgo Taurus Capricorn okay could be a Scorpio Pisces Cancer for some <clears throat> I feel uh, you are focusing on someone different okay Aries Sagittarius. this person could be younger or immature energy you have two people around you, Aquarius. One is uh, supposed to give you the care and love. Another one is just interested in you and attracted to you. That's it. Okay. So you're more inclined towards the other person, Aquarius. The other person could be Scorpio Leo. Sorry. I don't know why I said Scorpio. But could be. Uh, it could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Yeah, so there are two people basically. You're deciding between the two people. All right. And uh, <clears throat> there are two people. One is Aries Ashley, another is a Virgo Taurus Capricorn who's interested in you. I feel that the person that you are focusing on is looking at other direction. And uh, whereas a person who you are not focusing on that much, that person is making a move towards you with the communication. So focus on them now. Focus on the right. Put your energy in the right direction. Aquarius, please. Aquarius. Aquarius. Ooh. <clears throat> Could be a Capricorn that you're dealing with. Someone is stuck on you, okay? I feel that this person, oh my god, this is your card. This is your energy, Aquarius, the star energy. I feel this person is obsessing over you like crazy. They just can't let go of you. And you do not realize the fact that there is someone, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Or could be any sign, but they are in that energy. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. So this person is bringing you communication and they think about you day and night. They have a lot of passion for you. And you're looking elsewhere. I feel you might be interested in someone else. So this person has like is obsessing over you, is addicted to you, the way you look and everything. And uh, yes, they are attracted to your beauty. So they find you as a very, very fascinating diva. Okay. And if you're a male, they are very fascinated by you. They find you really charming. So they keep on thinking about you a lot and they're not letting you go. Okay. They're going to be the devil in your life in a good way. That means they're not going to let you go easily okay because they think about you a lot but they want to help you all right they want to be there for you they're very mature energy i get a very mature energy from this person 
Yeah, so I feel that uh, you're going to receive a communication or an offer from this person, okay? So I feel someone is going to <clears throat> make you feel really, really worthy of yourself, okay? So yeah, I see that you're being very independent, very, very self-sufficient. Money is enough for you and you don't need it from anyone else. So you're emotionally also uh, very stable, very, very intuitive. Some of you Aquarius, very enlightened in life. And this person knows that. And that is why they're attracted to you. So I, I feel that this person wants you to choose them. Okay. Very clearly, they want you to choose them. Aquarius, please. Okay. No, I, I do this again properly. Okay, now I get it. Okay, so. Three of Pentacles. I feel that you might be working with this person. You guys must be at the same place. Or there is some sort of connection with this person. Financial connection with this person. You work with this person. Or you have to pay this person. Or they have to pay you for something. I don't know. Or they just discuss their business uh, or job related stuff with you. So I feel that they have a lot of passion towards you. Like they have a very, very, very strong pull towards you you know they're very attracted to you so they want a new beginning with you okay so a passionate new beginning i strongly sense this this person is just the same person if you're not dealing with two people then there this this is just one person okay who has a lot of passion for you but they're taking time they have been taking time but now they're gonna make a fast move because now the you know the level has gone out of control and now they're cannot resist coming towards you so are they coming towards you oh my god so i feel that you're going to get a marriage offer from this person they have strong passion they have two uh signs mainly earth and fire in them in their charts like aries sagittarius leo and virgo taurus capricorn very strongly in their charts okay so a lot of passion they have and they're going to offer you marriage. Yeah, you mean the world to them. Very clearly, you mean the world to this person. And they want to spend the rest of their life with you. But there are some battles they need to, you know, face in order to reach you. Because you might have other options wanting to be with you. And they might have to go through those challenges in order to reach where the... where the world is okay yeah so they're finding it difficult i also feel that some of your queries have found this relationship difficult for some reason and you decided to move on and there was a tower uh, between you and this person but i feel that you might be misunderstanding them in some of you your cases if you're pretty sure that this person was toxic then leave them it's very logical you read the disclaimer that if you feel that the situation has been much worse than what i'm describing to you then stick to it okay stick to your decision stick to your intuition but for most of you i feel that uh, there might be some misunderstandings you might have uh, misjudged them and moved on but i feel that now they have to come across a lot of battles a lot of people they have to fight against a lot of people to be people to be with you okay so there's this issue that has come out Aquarius please the hangs man I feel that they are seeing situation in a very different light they feel that you've moved on they feel that you don't like them they feel that you don't want them anymore and that is why this is you know kind of making them feel negative about the outcome Okay, so they feel negative about the outcome. But anyways, the love is stronger. The love overpowers them. Some of you Aquarius, very strongly, you might have blocked this person. They tried a lot to express their true feelings to you, but you kind of blocked them. And now they feel like, <clears throat> I feel that they're surrendering this. But then when they think of surrendering this, because you and them had a bad, bad ending. And so when they think of ending this, they always come back. Because they have love for you. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer for some. This person could be. 
okay so i feel that you have uh, blocked this person or just ignoring this person simply but uh, listen to them what they have to say okay so i feel yeah they're gonna come towards you very very soon you know what maybe there is some self-love issues in your life and i also feel that aquarius some of you might be feeling not very confident about yourself even though they see you as a very confident person you are a confident person but currently you not being able to feel confident because you are not uh, being able to uh, decide what's right and what's wrong. So that is why this is shaking your confidence and you need to build that confidence up. Okay. So I feel that if you have feelings, there's no harm if you make the first move, if you express your love. So I feel that in order to express your love, you need to first be open to loving yourself first. Okay, so love yourself, embrace yourself, then it's easier for, your, for you to express your feelings. So a lot of passion is there between you guys. Okay, very passionate energy between you guys. Conclusions are within reach. If you feel that this person has left you a lot of, has gone really far away, no. They're still waiting for you, they're still looking at you and uh, they're within reach so try to catch them if you feel that you need to okay go the distance i feel that you're the one who need to make the efforts so this is the highlight so you're the one who needs to do something about this because they're a bit uh, disappointed and they feel like surrendering but they do have love okay support i feel that this person has been supporting you throughout and oh my god so this person is a kind of a person who will turn out to be your support system who will protect you and they had that kind of a nature so they want to do that to you or they have been doing that in the past but you judge them however it happens it's okay but uh, the judgment was not right for some of you okay if you feel that nothing like this happened or this was a very toxic connection then go by it okay base chakra so basically you need to first love yourself bring your femininity into your power and uh, don't be don't panic about many things just be in your own power love yourself and you'll be more attractive to the other person i feel that some of you aquarians are feeling sad and isolated and left out i don't know but you need to work on your base chakra eat a lot of red okay wear a lot of red it's gonna help you so that's it Aquarius I hope this reading has resonated so far with you and if it did don't forget to like this video share this video with your friends and uh, yeah subscribe and hit the bell icon also mention in the comment section how this resonated we will see you next time Aquarians bye bye